Big arms, knees up, a lot of movement. Abs tight, pull that core in, help support this work. Knees up in front, twist it out. We've got very targeted work today, our score and back. Glutes, inner thighs, and arms or guns. Let's reach on out, stretching out the back of the leg up into that glute. When you do glute work and inner thigh work, you're going to really be getting a lower leg, lower body, leg workout. But we really focus in on those two areas out in here. I'm using a number of different dumbbells. If you have options, great. If not, use what you have. Grab water bottles or soup cans, especially if you're just starting out. That's how I started. And get used to having some resistance. Gravity is also your resistance. I'm going with my heavier weight here to start. I'm going to hold the weight right in my chest. I'm going into a squat. I want you to turn your toes out just a little bit in the squat. And if you can come deep with me, here we go. All the way down, all the way up. Or, if you're just needing to protect those knees, same pace as us. So, you're activating. You're coming up and you're squeezing the glutes. Pick what works for you or something in between those two options. You can come down halfway, do that. Keep this weight right against the chest. Don't let the weight pull you forward. That puts pressure into your knees. You don't want to do that. Drive through your heels as you come up. Squeeze in the glute. Good. Way to get the lower body ready, right? You feel that? I'm going to my medium weight, and as I pick my weight up and put it down, your weight's on the floor, I want you to be careful. Keep your head above your heart. I'm going to go into a side lunge, we'll step to your right, okay? So, we're going side lunge, we're coming up with a soccer kick curl, ready? Over, come up, curl, or over, plant the foot, soccer kick curl. If you can do the balance move right here, just adds that core element. That balance training this is more advanced. Elbows in. Get what works for you. Maybe you do a balanced one, then you go ahead and plant the foot. Then you do the kick there to that. There we go. Or stay with that foot coming in and meeting the other foot. You pick what works for you. There's no competition. You showed up, you're ready to work. That's all you need to do. So, do at the level that feels good to you. I want you to challenge yourself, but I also don't want you falling over with some of these balance moves, okay? If you're just starting out, do the modification. Let's go to the other side, side lunge, over that curl. Ready? Over, up with the curl, or over, up and curl. Bring that foot all the way in, then curl it. There we go. That's tight. Pull your belly button to your spine right there. Helps with balance a lot. Come on. Try to get the hang of this move. Getting those glutes in your thighs and biceps. Good. All right. Optional band. Just starting out, or you don't have a band, so that's okay. All right, we just gotta kind of bring up our intensity here. Try and move quick here. And grab one of my heavy weights, putting this around my ankle, going into a squat, squat, side leg raise, ready? So it's squat, up, squat, up, sit back. And as you can tell, not using a band, you're still getting a lot of work. Getting those glutes, going the outer side of the glute right there with that leg raise. Band just adds intensity. These bands, you can pick them up. Local department store, Walmart, Target. Really not, not expensive. Good. And rest. All right. 
Take the band off. We'll get back to it. But first, we're going to pulse a wide squat. Toes out. Come down as far as comfortable for you. Pulse it if you can. All right? Otherwise, you're going to hold while we pulse. I'll show you that on the second, second one here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Drive it up. Four, three, two, one. And up. Feel those inner thighs. Work it. Three, two, one. Abs tight, always. Here your weight belt. You start to lift heavier weight by holding your core nice and tight. You can lift more than you might think. Lifting heavy weight doesn't mean you're going to get bigger. You're going to get more tone quicker. <laughs> and that's a good thing. And up. Last one, pulse it with me. Front. And you have a 30 second rest. First circuit's over. We only have five. Yay, us. Okay. Next move. If you can, we're coming down to the knees. You can do the standing as well. We're going to take this bicep curl. We're going to Rotate our hands out, we've done these before. Wide curl. It's those biceps a little differently. It's a harder curl. So we'll do it now early. Ready? Here we go. Abs are tight. Elbows are in. Same speed up as down. Remember, so I'm not going quickly. We want those muscles to work. And if you're throwing weight up and down, up and down. That should be about one rep for you guys if you're on my pace here. You're using momentum. You're really not training the muscles as well as you will. You that nice and slow. Not to mention, less joint action. And we want less joint action. We don't want to hurt our joints. Alright, now stand it back up. Stick it with these weights. Palms are facing your legs. We're going to Reach a curl up and over, up and over, and then front raise. You will feel where the bicep goes into the shoulder there. So we're going to make it look nice and pretty. Are you ready? Here we go. Reach a curl, one side, elbow stays in, other side, both arms, front raise, abs tight. Feel it? Yes. And raise it. When you're in that raise, I just noticed I did this, and when I do that, I mention it. I lifted my shoulders. Focus on keeping those shoulders strong, but not lifting them up to your ears, not using your neck. And if you find you have to, lighten your weight or do this without weight. Okay, this is a hard lift right there. Let's do one more preacher curl on each side. And rest. All right, very similar movement here. This, one is very, this circuit is very focused on the biceps. We're going to go to side raise. Okay. Shoulder move, but it's where it comes down and meets the top of the bicep. Hammer curl. Okay, so we're sculpting these arms. Are you ready? Here we go. This side raise is hard. You find it's too difficult? Lighten your weight. Do one at a time. You can do that as well. Just don't want to see that. Okay, we're not using momentum. Lift. Abs are tight. I'm in a staggered stance. One foot forward, one back. It really helps me, I think, get a little more power. But everyone is different. And you can have either leg forward if you like this style of staggered stance. Again, nice, controlled pace. Let's do the raise. There we go. We finished that rep. Good. All right, I'm grabbing my chair. I'm grabbing my heavy weight and I'm grabbing a bailout weight. We're going to do a concentration curl. Quickly here, I'm going to sit and pick a heavier weight if you can. If you have options, you're going to put it in your hand, your right hand, elbow right in, bring it up and down. Curl it slowly down. Abs are tight here. We're using one side of the body that's a unilateral move. Very concentrated because only the bicep is working here right now. So all of your energy is going into this curl. When that happens, you can lift more than if we were sitting here doing both arms at the same time. So these are the types of exercises where you can start to challenge yourself on weight. 
So if you're finding it's easy, step up your weights. Use in threes, get fives. Use in fives, get eights. Use in eights, get ten or even twelve. Alright, let's go to the other side. If you're beyond that, if you're using fifteens, you already know what you're doing <laughs> as far as lifting heavy, so that's okay. Keep going with what you've got, okay? The rest of us will try and catch up with you. Going in three, two, one, other side. I'm gonna just get through my left side. I'm your right side over here. I'm left-handed, so that side of my body is a little stronger, naturally. So hopefully I get through all of them on this side, because we really want to be balanced. We want to do the same amount on each side, or come close. Stay with me here for the next 20 seconds. We have another rest. Come on, 10 more seconds. If you're lifting heavy, keep going with me. Show the hand here. We can do a couple more reps. One more rep. Ready? Rest. All right, you're on a rest. I am going to move my weights back a little bit, and I'm putting my band on. So we can do the same. Do that before I move my chair. Going to a lateral walk and a squat. Lots of fun. I'm going to put it up over our knees. Move my chair. And why don't we walk to your left first, okay? Down in the squat, big step. One, two, three. Take it back. Don't have a band. Staying in this squat might be enough. And this is certainly a move I would do in other videos without a band. We're just bringing up the intensity a little bit. Three steps each side, stay low if you can. You're going to burn in the buttons. And that's what we're working on, right? One more each way. Can we do it? Are you burning? <laughs> I'm burning. Back the other way. And rest. All right. I'm going to bring this weight down to my ankles, keeping my head a little apart. I'm going to diagonally walk forward. So you're going to step wide, over, over, back, back, back. You'll feel that, right? Let's move with your right leg first. So reverse what I just did there. Demo. Okay, step in with your right. Here we go. Bring it out, in, out, in. Take this down in a little squat if you can. You're more advanced. Just increases that intensity as if this were not enough. And if you don't have the band, stay in the squat if you can, okay? Feel it? Whoo-wee! Come on, we're <laughs> almost there. Burn. And back. And I'm going to rest at that point. Good job. Okay. Bringing this back up over the knees. Right there. Not using a band. Again, totally okay. Grab a weight if you'd like. I'm going to grab, grab one of my heavier weights. I'm going to hold it right at my chest. We did the wide squat pulse. Regular squat pulse. Ready? Three. Push the knees out. Two. One. Adding this band. Push. 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 Or stay up. Push. 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 And up. Activating those glutes here. Feel it? Up. Push the knees. Push. Yeah. And up. Keep going. Come on. And up. Stay with me. One more time. And then nice work. All right, keeping the band. So I'm moving it down around my ankles. And I'm grabbing my chair. Use my chair. The ballet bar up there. And I'm going to do a rear leg raise. Keep your leg as straight as possible. Abs tight. Shoulders stay up. You don't lean out of this, okay? Because if you're up right here, and feel the glute in your thigh. Here we go. Pulse. Pulse. Up and in. Push that band if you have the band. If not, you're still going to feel the work. If you're just starting out, it's plenty of work, right? You're feeling this. Now with bands, the cool thing is, depending on the tension, you can make it even harder. Get a 
medium band here. Ooh, how those glutes feel? <laughs> inner thigh, you feel that inner thigh engage as you push back? You should. One more. And that standing leg. Go for a as well. Something to keep in mind. Don't walk your knees. A little bend in your knees, you can't even see it, but you're not locked, alright? That's important. Shoulders up, right over the hips, it stays there. Don't lean out of it. You feel that when you're upright, don't you? Feel how that works. Here we go. Pulse. Pulse. I leaned out of that one. Leaned it up. Check your form. I'm doing it always as well. One more seconds. I'm watching the clock too. Yes, I am. It's worth it though. You're worth it. I'm worth it. We're worth it. And rest. That's a rest right there. Take the band off. We will use it one more time. If you have it, like I say, I'm saying it. Don't feel like you're missing anything if you don't have a band. You're still getting great, great work. Okay. Yeah. Buns and guns. Often people think thumbs, bicep. And I do too. But in order to make this look nice, all the muscles, shoulder, triceps coming into it need to look nice. So I'm taking a heavy weight, tricep extension. Ready? Press it up and down. Control this weight. You want the tricep, back of the arm, to be cut nicely. With the bicep front of the arm and the shoulder, which actually comes up over the top of the arm. So three arms, we're focusing on bicep here in this workout, but I'm adding this circuit to give you some tricep work. Ten more seconds, not even. You thought I meant ten more extensions, I kind of thought in my head for a minute, but ten more, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I meant ten more seconds. <laughs> Good. All right, training my weight in for two medium dumbbells. Keeping my head above my heart. Get a little movement with this one. I'm going to do a tricep lift in the back, twisting with this. Right arm first. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Lift. Bring it in. Lift. Lift. Feel it. You're not feeling your triceps yet. We'll calm down to the mat in a minute. And I got a treat for you. Working that arm unilaterally. Some of you have been here a while. You might know what I have in mind. And you need the other side. Okay. All right. Down to your mat. We will need, we're going to be in the mat for the rest of the workout. And you'll need your medium or light weights. For a couple moves, one move really. Come on down. Single arm, tricep, plant the hand. Lower arm wraps around. You're going to push and lift your upper body. Okay, you push. All the way up, nice and slow down. And I want a full extension here. Really contract that muscle up and down. This is hard. I know that. And maybe you do two or three. That's what I did the first time I did these. I am not kidding you. I remember it. It was a damn it web video. I want those arms. It was a more advanced. There were two different workouts. Beginner and more advanced. This is a more advanced move. And when I started, I only did a few. So if you need to take little breaks, that's okay. When your muscles get to the point where they can't do more, even if you've done two or three reps, that's called failure, and at failure, that's a good thing in the fitness world, that means you completely work that muscle to the point of failure. That's good. It doesn't matter how long it takes or how much weight you use. The failure part is the good part. Ready? Because failure means you push the muscle to the max, and it's going to say, Roga, that's not going to happen again. So what it does, makes itself a little stronger. So next time, maybe you do an 
extra rough. And again, the tricep says, wait a minute, can't let that happen. We can't get to failure. So once again, it's going to heal itself a little bit stronger. And as you can tell, that process over and over will serve you well. You're going to get beautiful, toned, sculpted, lean muscles. All right. Grabbing my, I'm going to start with my knee and I can bail out to my fighter. We're going on your back. Come on down. We have a skull crusher. Don't crush yourself, okay? I want you to hold this weight as if it's a bar. So not palms facing each other. Like it's a bar. This is a little harder. Bring the weight down. Extend it up. Feel that? Now I want you to think about elbows. Keep them pointing towards your ceiling. Or the sky, if you're lucky enough to be doing this outside. This is what you don't want. The elbows don't go out. Stay very stationary, pointing up towards your ceiling. And if this is crushing your triceps, you have a break coming. I want you to push yourself as hard as you can here. Almost there. Come on. Rest. Okay. One more. So good to go. I am moving my weights out of the way here. And I'm going to grab my band. I think we're starting right away with a band. Yes, we are. All right. So, putting the band is a little tricky because we are going to split this. We do half on one side, half the other. So, I'm going to bring the band under one knee if you're using a band. Otherwise, you're pulsing a dog cat like this, pulsing it up. All right. And then, very quickly, in about 18 seconds, we're going to switch to the other side. You need about four seconds. Here we go. Pulse it. Stay up here. Push. Push. 20 seconds. You can do this. Hips stay square. Don't lift them. Okay. Watch my clock here. Ready to switch? I am. So, under the other knee. Here we go. Up. Move it here a little bit. Push it. Feel it. Keep those hips square. Let them work. We have donkey kicks in a lot of videos that don't use band. Getting great work with the band or without. I know I keep saying that. I just want you to realize it's true. Okay, around your ankles if you use a band. Coming up in a plank. We're going to lift one leg and the other. I just corrected my form. I brought my hips down. Now you can do this on your knees, okay? If you have on your toes, here we go. Hips stay down, though. If you have to be up like this, I'd rather you be down on your knees, you're getting some core, you're getting that glute. Abs are tight. This is a tough one, I know. What a way to end, huh? <laughs> this is going to be the end of this workout. Feel it, I feel it. Yes, I just peeked at my clock. So this is hard. <laughs> so you know, back surgery. I'm in a pretty constricted brace here, thank goodness, because I probably wouldn't be able to do these clients otherwise. And rest. Okay. Swinging it all in a rep. Last one. With the optional band. Coming on your back. We're going to bring our heels all the way to our bum. Classic blue move here. But we're going to add. Some outer glute by pushing the legs out and down. So drive the hips up, push the knees out, bring the knees in, hips come down. Drive it up, knees out. You want to make this a fluid motion? You can. So the knees are going out as the hips come out, a little bit more advanced. I want to stay here. And push through the heels, not the toes. Feel the back of the legs, the hamstrings. Go right up into those glutes, and you're sure you feel those glutes. Go right here, feel it. All right. No more band. Good for you on the band work. Those of you that have it, and those of you that tried and did it without, think about getting a band. All right. Classic, classic inner thigh. This is your mom's old school network. Nice strong shoulder, support your body, lower leg, drive the heel to the ceiling, push, push. I'm going to keep my foot off the ground, 
more advanced. And just stop and rest. Stop and rest. More advanced. Keep the tension on that inner thigh. Feel it? It's not a huge range of motion. As we get to the end of these 40 seconds, we're way out right there now. Keep the body nice and straight. And I tend to lean like this and help it out. Keep your body as if you're up against a wall. Almost there. Come on. Burn. What a way to end, right? Other side. Last exercise. And we will do a nice stretch. Set yourself up. Remember to be really strong in your shoulder. Use your hand for balance so you keep this body nice and straight. Okay? Try with the heel if you can. Keep the foot off the mat if you can. Now, this is my side. Believe it or not, I had back surgery. I went in on my side all the way through my body to my spine. So, this side, full weight. Building up the strength again. I'm going to put my foot down in between. It discourages me, but I shouldn't be discouraged, right? Because here I am, and here you are. If you're struggling too, know that as we work this, it gets better, it gets easier. Oh, we're going to finish strong here. I'm going to put it off the ground. And there it is. Good job. Oh, wow. Let's take a minute and grab a foot. We're going to stretch out the front of the leg quickly here. Those squats, which hit the glute, they also hit the quads, which are in front of your legs. Switch them out quickly. And we'll roll on over. If you want a longer stretch, one's going to be linked in. And stretch out here, arms over your head. Lift your arms higher over your head. Feel the upper arm stretch. And then bring one knee in. Drive that foot up. The back of the leg, the hamstring. Other side. Let's work when you do those glutes because they're connected. Good. Now flip on over again. And arms with your toes together. Knees out. Rock back here. Feel the inner thigh stretch. That's what I want you to feel. And then once you're down, bring your hands behind your head. Bring your body weight down on the elbows, gently. Working that tricep, stretching it out. And come on up. Bring up and forward. Sit those glutes again. Bring the body down. You come down as far as is comfortable for you as far as I'm going right now. I'm not probably as far on the other side, but I'm working on it. Good. Let's do a hip flexor stretch. So reach up, open up those hips. A lot of flexing. And other side. And bring the body weight down. Feel that glute stretch. I want you to relax the muscles, let them stretch. Sometimes when we're in a deep stretch, we want to tighten up, and that's the complete opposite of what we should do. Uh, let, them, let them loose, let them breathe. They literally are breathing. Getting oxygenated blood, which is what they do to repair themselves. All right, so depending on what time of the day it is that you do this workout, it's early in the day, lots of water. Large muscle groups of the lower body, they need that water. You want that blood flowing through them freely to help relieve any tension and soreness that you might feel tomorrow. So, great job today. I look forward to keep working with you in this series, and I will see you next time.